Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we will go over creating an EC2 startup script and template. Stop wasting time on repetitive tasks. Start learning to be lazy. Yes, be lazy. Do not be the guy that is always doing the repetitive task manually all over and over again. No, we want to be the guy that clicks on a button and boom, things happen. So we'll go through the process of creating an EC2 instance and we will put a script in it. I put Docker and Docker Compose on everything. It's just very easy. It's just something that speeds up the process. And here is a basic configuration script that I have put together. It's very simple. But if you ran this after you installed or launched your EC2, it might take you 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. I don't want to waste 15 minutes. And if you don't remember the commands, it might take you 30 minutes to find the websites with these commands. But when you launch your EC2 with this script, it will come up and be ready to run very, very fast. Save those 15 minutes for important things like having coffee, chit chatting and doing other things. And here's the script. Basically, you're doing a yum update. You're installing Docker. The, the Amazon Linux extras, you're doing a Docker start, you're changing your uh, EC2 user so you don't have to keep putting in sudo, and you're downloading Docker Compose. That's all we are doing. You paste it right here under user data, as text, review, and launch. That is it. Now we've gone over uh, security groups and other videos and you could check that out whenever you have time. So we're not opening up any ports except the default uh, for us as age port 22. You're going to do this as fast as possible. And we'll just wait until the EC2 instance comes up and it should be rather quick. It's already running and we'll connect to it, get our information. Very simple. We've done this before. Connect to it. Go over to SSH client and copy the script. We'll open up our command window. And we will SSH into the VM. And we'll run a couple of commands. Docker info. This will confirm that we have it installed. It's installed and it's working. So if you do this manually, you know that you have to run or exit, I should say, out of the your SSH session after you install Docker. And then you come back in and then you can run the commands. So these are working. Everything is up and running. The updates were installed. We didn't have to do anything. 15 minutes of drinking coffee. What can be better than that? And now I'm going to show you how easy it also is to just create another instance just like this one. And as you saw, we clicked on launch more like this. And it gives us all the details of what we need. And it puts this cryptic user data information in there. But it's ready to go. And just like that, we can launch the same instance, EC2 instance, or similar EC2 instance. Now, because we did a launch more like this, this will already have Docker and Docker Compose, and it will have all the Linux updates installed as well. So we're going to get our information here. And we will filter by running. As you can see, we have the one that we built a few minutes ago and now we'll get our information to SSH into this device and it's using the same key pair have another command prompt open 
and here we go. And we'll run Docker info to get our information. Oh, what happened? Wrong command. Docker dash compose. Hmm. Okay, so something happened here. What could it be? Well, I think I just needed to take a couple sips of coffee. Why do I say that? Well, here's what happens. If you SSH immediately after launching this, it will take some time before Docker is installed. When you SSH, SSH is available right away. So you can SSH into your instance right away. But what happens is that it's not finished running the script for you. So usually you just have to wait maybe a minute after it says that it's available. It's, it's not very much. It's a minute. And see, then you have to go through the process of exiting and coming back in because it's still running these processes for you in the background. So don't get scared. You don't have to stop anything. You don't have to start running any yum updates. Actually, if you do, you're, you will get an error message saying that there is a process that's already started. And that was the only thing. Just need to wait maybe one minute. And as always, I terminate my instances. Don't want to incur any cost. And we'll build another one. And this time, what we will do is we will create a template. Reason being is if you continue to install software that you don't necessarily want on every single VM or instance, then you don't want to say run more like this. We get our instance into a state that we like and we can create a template. And with this template, now we can install or create, launch many other instances. And we know that this script, I'm sorry, this EC2, uh, I'll call it EC2 Docker template. We know that this only has Docker and Docker Compose. So that's why I decided to call it. And you could put a description, I'll call it tutorial. Just keep skipping through, skipping through. We don't really need to configure a whole bunch of things. We just keep going. And you might see a couple of error messages. Um, let's just keep building this. Go to advanced details, which is what I want to show you. And here it is. The script is automatically added to this launch template because we are building this template from the EC2 instance that we already created. And that's pretty much it. Now we create this launch template and you have it for later use. You can destroy all your EC2s and you will, if you save this launch template and keep it with, you don't delete it and you're not paying for this. So you could have it in your account and maybe add a, a better description because you, you might create many of these launch instance, launch templates. But here we go. We're going to use this launch template to install or launch an instance. And once again, I'm not going to show you about the security groups. You will have to use that. But you see, when I go to create an instance, it already has this user data there for me, which is the script that I want. And we successfully launched this instance. Now let's uh, take a look at it. Let's see what information is there. It's already running. That's good. And let's just take a couple seconds before we SSH in there. We don't want to run through the problem that we had earlier. Just sometimes you want to be faster than Amazon and we have to just relax a little bit. So here we go. We'll SSH in here and see brand new instance and is Docker installed. It is. See? <laughs> Little message there. We waited long enough. You need to wait till that script installs. And the more you add to that launch script or startup script, the longer, 
longer you'll have to wait. So let's say you want to install Apache, Nginx on it, then you would have to wait longer. I mean, if you run it on Docker, then you don't have to wait longer. Just run everything in Docker and you'll be fine. Of course, there are circumstances where you, where you don't want to run Docker and that's fine. But here's the example. We have our devices here. And now we're ready to go. And that is it, folks. As always, terminate the instances. If you're practicing, you're learning, trying to get certified, you need to do it. Hands-on is the best thing to learn. You can't rely on books and on cheating strategies. You have to do this over and over again. Now, that was very easy, wasn't it? And we appreciate you watching. Please, if you've learned something, like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And we will keep coming up with more tutorials for you on AWS, Azure, GCP, Cisco, any certification.